Kirk, Chief Keef, Rondo Number no. 9, and Tay 600. Before LA Capone was featured on the Lupe Fiasco song Life of a Savage. Before LA Capone would go after members of the rival, Capone made a name for himself in the Chicago based drill scene and started touring two short years after he first started rapping. Leonard Anderson, he was the middle child with four sisters, all raised by a single mother growing up on the rough and tough streets of Chicago. Now, being the only boy in the house, he would annoy his sisters constantly, but at school, he was an honor student and he even played on the school football team. After hours, he joined the gang Black Disciples in his team. 14, he began rapping and it didn't take long for him to build up a strong reputation as that of a gangster rapper. But all of a sudden, his gang affiliation, it was the first time when he was just 16 years young. Again, almost a year later to the day, leaving behind him a large family who miss him a whole bunch. My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of L.A. Capone prior to his passing, here for you on Before They Are Dead. Now feel free to leave your condolences for the departed in the comments down below. Also let me know who you guys want me to document next. And for that guy who keeps asking for Lucas Graham, it's not really on the to-do list. Anderson was born on September 18th, 1996 in the south side of Chicago, Illinois. He was the only son of mother Deidre Morris and the middle child amongst four sisters. Now, Ellie Capone, his mother, she went on to state that her boy, he was in fact special, and boy did he know it. Going around the house being the only man, well, he was showered in love and praise. In fact, his mother, she once bought for him a gold crown, and he would wear it day in, day out, telling everyone they could call him nothing but king. Story growing up, my older brother, he referred to me as your highness. Now he just calls me that annoying guy on the internet. Growing up, young Leonard, he would start to get on his sister's nerves. He was always looking to entertain, have some fun, and it was to their annoyance. That's when all that pent up energy, it had to find an outlet, and he began hanging out on the streets where he would meet his newfound friends, and those guys, well, they would basically become his new brother. Leonard played football in his elementary school, and the team actually did pretty well, taking home the 2008 championship title in their district. He wore the number seven. Outside of sports and music, Leonard's other interests involved picking up women, hanging out with his crew, and making money by whatever means. But we're talking about a teenager here, so young Leonard, he had some juvenile interests, like an obsession for donuts. On top of that, he also loved cereal. His pantry at home, it was packed to the brim, and he would work his way through his favorite cereals, saving the best for last, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. When his mom now reflects on her young boy, she cannot even stop bringing up how much he loves Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That and home run in sausage pizzas, they were his fave. But heck, a young man he needs to eat. That stuff, it must work magic because he became well known around his hood as the funniest guy there. He was also a massive hit with the ladies. His buddies, they can attend. Oh bro, not in front of the kid with the pink stroller. Leonard started rapping around the age of 14 under the moniker L.A. Capone, which was a play on his initials, Leonard Anderson and the famous Chicago gangster, Al Capone. It was around this time, him and his boys, they also became members of a local gang known as the Black Disciples. Through these contacts, L.A. Capone was hanging with rapper Little Dirk, who was already signed to Def Jam Records. Also, Keith Chief, who put their style of rap music on the map with songs like Three Hunna, Bang, and one of his most popular songs, Idol. Capone, he was following guys who had already made a name for themselves in the drill rap scene, so he decided to follow suit. His gang mentality into his artistry, and if you listen to his tracks, you can often hear him referencing GDK, which stands for Gangsta Disciples Kill Up. Gangsta Disciples are a rival gang of black disciples. This wasn't a serious hit, and he recovered shortly after he had surgery. He graduated from high school as an honor student in 2013, and now that school was out, LA Capone was driven to succeed. After having focused on rap for only two short years, well, he decided to put all his interest, all his focus into his rap career. That's when he decided to team up with Rondo Number no. 9 and they would upload tracks to YouTube. And these songs, well, they would do ridiculously well. Play for Keeps and Shooters would go on to get millions of views. And in fitting drill fashion, LA dissed one of the gangster disciples, dead members in Play for He said, Sean Dale, Young Capone was doing well and he'd also started touring. He rappers, Tato, Ball Out, Capo, Trey Savage, Adjusto, and main, main, four CGG, just to name a few. <laughs> Man, please don't make me do it before they were famous on Main Main. That's uh, a <clears throat> well, one ridiculous name. Around this time, his mother, she even began listening to his music, and when she heard him repping his hood with 600, well, she knew her young boy, he was going to be a star. Sadly, on September 26, 2013, after leaving a recording studio, well, L.A. Capone, his life would be taken. Back, an ambulance was soon called, and while he was on that ambulance ride, well, he was alert. The word got to Little Dirk, who went on Twitter to share his best wishes. Also, the word got back to his mother, 
who broke down she couldn't believe this had happened again. LA Capone suffered massive blood loss on the operation table. A chocolate birthday cake, well it was still sitting on the counter at the time of this passing. Little Dirk would then take to Twitter at 8pm on this day to tweet out RIP Hardy Johnson, Michael Mays and later Miko Buchana, all members of 051 Young Money who were charged with first degree murder. Authorities claimed that the three will they confess to the crime soon after they were booked. Now LA Capone did get a chance to release any mixtapes while he was alive, however after passing his friends released a mixtape titled King LA which included some of his most popular songs. This mixtape was uploaded to YouTube on what would have been LA Capone's 18th birthday. Since then other unreleased tracks they have been uploaded to YouTube as well under the title Rebirth. And the rest of the story, well the rest of the story it lives on in his music. My name is Michael McCred and thanks for checking out Before They Were Dead. I've done a whole bunch of deceased rappers in the past. Of course we got the big guys like Eazy E but I also done speaker knockers and uh, there's a few more on there so be sure to browse around. Let me know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next.